a secret behind this door, but in order to find it, you're going to need to find six runes. Today, I'm going to be showing how to find all six of these runes and how to unlock the door. If you wanted to see what's behind the door, make sure that you stick around because I'm going to be showing you how to get all six of these runes. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to run this way over to the old quest master. In this building, you'll find this whole catastrophe of all these portals, and you're going to need to find which pattern you can go through these portal doors. The pattern is different for everyone, and you're just going to have to keep going through them until it works for you. But yeah, right here you will find the rune stone, and if you punch it, then you will pick it up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back over to spawn, and you're going to want to put this rune over in the, in the door. Just like that, you'll add a new rune to the door, and now you're one step closer to unlocking the door. Alright, so this next one, uh, it's going to take a bit more time, but it's definitely worth it. Alright, so this next one might be a little bit more complicated, but it's definitely worth it to get the costume. Alright, so first you're going to want to turn left over here, and you're going to want to follow what I do. First, you're going to want to pull this leather like this. As you can see, this gate is now locked and I can no longer escape this way. So we're going to have to figure out how to get over to the room. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here until we find the orange lever. Which should be right around here. Yep, here we go. Now, this door is locked, but this one is unlocked. Now, we're just going to keep walking down this way and let's unlock the green door. And now you're going to want to unlock this door so that you can go get the green gate. So you have to un unlock the blue gate and you're going to want to go over to the doors. Oh, wait. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go this way until you find, let's see, the purple gate. So let's come over here, let's unlock it. So now that we've unlocked the green one, let's go over to the red one and we can go redeem our reward. Over here, we'll find our rune, we can collect it, we can go back to spawn, and we can put it in the door. Alright, here we go, let's put the next one in. And we're yet another step closer to unlocking this secret door. Alright, so this next one is actually pretty cool, and you're going to need to know a bit of parkour to do this. Yes, it's kind of a parkour course, but it's also kind of insane. So if we come down here, we'll, we'll find this very confusing contraption. So this is how you're going to want to beat this. You're going to want to wait until the last sound, and you're going to jump onto the next spot. No, Alright. <laughs> You fell. I know I fell. But as we head over here, we will find more and more parkour courses. All of these are really cool. Alright, and after you beat all the parkour, you're going to want to get the rin. And now you'll have your third rin. Now we can go back to spawn, and we can take this back over to the door. And we'll be halfway there. We only need three more runes to open the store, and I'm really excited to see what the costume is. Alright, so this next one, you're going to also need to know a little bit of parkour, but you're going to want to go behind the castle and over this way. I'm pretty sure that this is one of the photos that they leaked for their update a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah, that looks like it. But yeah, we're going to want to do this parkour course, and then we will be able to get our next room. I think we are almost there. This actually looks really cool. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's get it real quick. Alright, we got our next runestone. Let's go take it back to the door. We are now back at the door with our next runestone. And we're really, really close to getting this door unlocked. I'm really excited to see what the costume is. Alright, so uh, the next one is kind of annoying because it's it's like a puzzle. So you're going to kind of want to go the same way that we did before. But instead, once we reach over here, we're going to want to take a right until, yeah, we reach this little cave right here. I think that guy's speed hacking. Yeah, he's speed hacking in the hub. That's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, and once we reach here, we're gonna wanna go down to this secret little room over here. And we're gonna have to solve this little puzzle with these buttons. Now, to be honest, I... I don't really know how this one works. Alright, so when you do reach this location, you're gonna wanna come and get your rune over here. And you'll have your next rune. Honestly, that one's like really annoying because there's a bunch of people messing with it. But now we only need one more rune. We're super close to getting this done. This next one's gonna be kind of tricky to do, but uh, it's definitely worth the costume. So yeah, you're gonna want to go up this way over to the beach area where there's a little campfire. And we're gonna have to do a little bit of memory games. Yeah, so as we come over here by the fire, we're gonna find this uh, little uh, entranceway. 
and we were gonna want to come down here and we're going to find this really really weird uh <laughs> i don't even know how to explain this what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to crouch because the map is constantly moving and you're not going to be able to really see where you are so there are barrier blocks and they're being replaced by pink slabs so you're going to want to crouch so you don't fall off and it's very helpful the map doesn't change at all it's just the different kind of blocks there are so yeah yeah once you do reach this area you're going to get the rune and you'll be teleported back out of it so yeah, as we go back to spawn, we're going to come over here and we're going to put the rune back in the door and the door will open, hopefully. So now as the door opens, we're gonna walk our way down this hallway as this amazing <laughs> pyro. Honestly, I'm not sure what we have to do next, but I'm pretty sure we have to go down this little stairway here. Now we should have our new costume right here called the Sorcerer. Yes, this is really cool. I think this is an amazing costume. I uh, hope this video was helpful. If you do want this costume, make sure to follow the steps. If you know where you watch any parts, then go back to them. But yeah, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching.